The linear dependency of a few functions can easily be checked out, but it would be difficult for many functions. The Ranskin is an efficient method using a determinant to sort the linear independency of differential equations. Learn about it here in Engineering Math 5. The Ronskin method is introduced by Josef Ronsky in 1812, and among other functions, it can determine the linear independency of functions. The Ronskin is a determinant, so it requires a square matrix. The first row is where the functions are placed, and the second and succeeding rows will be the derivatives until reaching n minus 1. This determinant is assumed to be not equal to zero to conclude that the functions are independent. Let's showcase some examples for you to understand the concept of this determinant better. Check if the two functions are linearly independent or not. The functions are y1 is equal to e raised to 5t and y2, which is equal to x times e raised to 5t, which are placed in the first row of the determinant. To complete the second row, take their derivatives. The derivative of e raised to 5t will be 5 times e raised to 5t. The second element, x times e raised to 5t, would have to use the product rule, so keep the first term x and take the derivative of the second term e raised to 5t, which will make x times 5 times e raised to 5t. Then add a second term e raised to 5t times the derivative of x, which will be taken as 1. Now that we completed all the elements of the matrix, we work with a determinant which will be multiplying the diagonals and subtracting them. So we have e raised to 5t times the quantity of 5x times e raised to 5t plus e raised to 5t for the positive, and then we subtract the diagonal going upwards. That would be 5 times e raised to 5t, times x times e raised to 5t. So we can distribute terms to expand them and then collect similar terms again, giving the equation 5x times e raised to 10t plus e raised to 10t minus 5x times e raised to 10t, where we can cancel out 5x times e raised to 10t, leaving e raised to 10t, and this is not equal to zero. So we can say that the functions are linearly independent. This next example will be for three functions. y1 is equal to sine theta, y2 is equal to cosine theta, and y3 is equal to e raised to theta. And just the same, arrange them as elements in the first row and take the derivatives for the succeeding rows. So the derivative of sine theta is cosine, and the second derivative is negative sine theta. This is similar with the second column, and the third is e raised to theta, which would have the same as its derivatives. Now, there is a popular Saris method in determining the determinant where we copy the first two rows of the matrix. Now we are ready to multiply diagonals. Sine times negative sine theta times e raised to theta will give us negative sine squared of theta times e raised to theta. Cosine times e raised to theta times negative sine theta will give us negative sine theta cosine theta times e raised to theta. And e raised to theta times cosine theta times negative cosine theta will be negative cosine squared theta times e raised to theta. We subtract negative sine theta times negative sine theta times e raised to theta, which would give us minus positive sine squared theta times e theta. We have negative cosine theta times e raised to theta times sine theta, which would turn as positive sine theta cosine theta times e raised to theta. Lastly, e raised to theta times cosine theta times cosine theta 
will be negative cosine squared theta times e raised to theta. We can cancel out sine theta cosine theta times e raised to theta. Having the reduced equation, we move on collecting terms with sine theta and those with cosine theta. We extract similar terms from here and simplifying the equation into negative 2 times e raised to theta times the quantity of sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta. And again, take note of the identity with sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of that angle is equal to 1. And these can simplify the equation further into negative 2 times e raised to theta times 1, which is the final determinant and it is noted that it is not equal to 0. So we can say that the functions are linearly independent. Mm -hmm.